Hey everyone, Wangshu here. So in this particular video, we'll be talking all about sorting algorithms. Right, so before actually talking about sorting algorithms, we need to understand what do we actually mean by sorting. So sorting simply means arranging the data in a specific order or a trend, right? It can be numerical, uh, ascending or descending, uh, but it also can be lexicographical as we see in terms of strings. Right. So the next question can be, why do we actually need to sort the data? So this particular question can have different, you know, different meanings depending on the context. So if I see it in a viewpoint of an analyst, sorting makes the data a little easier to understand, visualize and analyze. Right. Uh, if I take a small example, let's say we have a set of data wherein we have, uh, you know, the name of the student as well as their marks. So if we sort the data depending on the name in lexicographical order, uh, it will be easier for us to assign the student's roll number, right? This can be a very simple example. And on the other hand, if we sort the data uh, based on, uh, you know, the marks of the students, we can have an idea about who scored better and who scored bad. So this was a very simple example. But if I, uh, you know, uh, think about this uh, question in terms of uh, problem solving, sorting can make the solution or algorithm of certain problems uh, efficient in terms of, uh, you know, space or time complexity. Very simple example could be binary search. Now we all know how important binary search is. It is asked in a lot of interviews and generally speaking, uh, the questions of binary search are a little tricky to understand and, uh, you know, implement. So uh, by this, you know, you uh, should have uh, a very basic understanding of why sorting algorithms are very important. Now, uh, there are different sorting algorithms. There are actually a lot of sorting algorithms, but it is generally good to have an understanding of basic sorting algorithms as well as the time and space complexities. So the simple sorting algorithms are uh, insertion sort, bubble sort, and selection sort. And if I talk about a little advanced sorting algorithms, we have merge sort, quick sort, and heap sort. Now, one other question uh, which, should, which you should be ready about is when to use a which type of sorting algorithm. So it can depend on four factors. First can be the size of the data, right? The second can be time and space complexities. The third can be the state of the data. And by state of the data, I simply mean that, uh, you know, how sorted is the data in, in the raw format? If it is already, uh, you know, pretty much sorted, uh, we can use certain type of algorithm, but it, if it is totally random, maybe some other algorithm uh, could be better. And the last could be whether we want to preserve the relative order of the equal elements or not. And uh, as you might already know, we call this stability. Uh, so you should, uh, you know, uh, apply different sorting algorithms depending on the certain scenario based on these four considering factors. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much and please subscribe to Coding Me Just channel.